Hi everybody, every day in Kentucky, houses are moving and sellers are wanting to know how to get it done. Buyers are wanting to know the same thing. Uh, Paula Elder and Melinda Drake from the brokerage are here with us. Last time we talked about selling a home. How's it different when you work with a buyer? Well, it's different in that you want your buyer to do some homework prior to uh, making a purchase. First of which is getting a strong lender. We, we really recommend finding a good local bank um, just because they're going to delve into appraisers and everything like that that are closer to home, know our markets, know our areas. And, and Melinda, it's not only important to make those kind of connections, but what are the other considerations that buyers should, obviously price is out there and what they want in terms of bedrooms and things like that, but what else should they look for in making a decision about trying to buy? To think about their lifestyle, you know, what they like to do, do they want to be in walking distance to restaurants, you know, where's the local coffee shop? Um, is it a neighborhood, are you a biker, you know, mm -hmm. have sidewalks or are you more in the country, do you like the peace and quiet? So I think you need to really look at your lifestyle and what your needs are. The other thing that, that I think both of y'all can absolutely help with is a lot of people don't know about zoning and things like that. And sometimes you can find a great house, but you don't know what's going on around you. That's the kind of expertise that you can bring to the table. Absolutely. Those are things that your agent should look into as well. Seller's disclosures and information like that, because that's not, those seller's disclosures are not part of what you can get online. Right. And they're a huge, huge part of, of purchasing home. Guys, if you've done it before or whether you're doing it for the first time, it can be a daunting task, but not when you work with great people like Paula and Melinda. You can get their information at wkyt.com slash Everyday Kentucky.